Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I am extremely happy to be reviewing the new addition to the Princess line, Vera Wang's Hippie Princess. So this fragrance launched this year, 2015, and I believe is the ninth installment into the Princess line, um, following last year's Princess Power. This one is a little bit different. Um, Mainly me saying that is because I'm not a huge fan of the name according to the package in the notes. Um, I like the name, like the bottle, I like everything about it. I just wish... I like the name Hippie Princess, but I kind of wish that Hippie Princess was another one and I wish this was a different name. Only because I don't feel like this fragrance is super hippie-like. I feel like with hippie and kind of stuff like that, you should be thinking more like greens and like patchouli covered up with like some fruits and whatnot this doesn't really have that kind of semi-earthy tone i would think that a hippie princess would that's just my personal opinion also all the packaging is very as i throw the box that was great good job me okay anyway so the box as you guys can see is very um it's got the traditional princess heart there with the crown on top in the middle and it's got all of this, like, henna design all the way around, which I think is very, like, Indian sort of flair is what I get with that. It carries on to the bottle, and the only thing on the bottle, in my opinion, here's the bottle, only thing, in my opinion, on the bottle that is hippie-like is up here on the very top of the crown. You've got these, like, topaz stones. So, then there's that. So, if you guys didn't know this already... All the princess perfumes on the very, very top, the on the neck of the bottle, like this, this little bottom part that would go around the bottom is actually a ring, like that, as well as, so is a crown. So you got two separate little rings there. Each one's like that. Just kind of a cool little fun fact about them. So, Hippie Princess, its notes are... Red mango and freesia in the top middle notes are apricot nectar and lotus flower with base notes of blonde wood and pink musk. So this one, when you first spray it, you get that mango, kind of nice, fresh out the door, um, kind of a nice, fresh, ripe mango, with the freesia there to kind of gently balance off that top. It's really weird that you see freesia in a top note, but I think it works well in this fragrance to kind of add this kind of airiness to the fragrance that I feel like they were trying to go with it. As it gets down to the middle, the apricot nectar, I believe, is the standout note in the heart. It's a really, really nice kind of creamy, um, juicy heart. That mango is really kind of prominent throughout the whole entire fragrance. Um, and th that lotus flower also adds that kind of, like, wet airiness to the fragrance that you would get with it being um, that kind of like airy, fruity floral. Middle notes are blonde wood and pink pink musk and vanilla. Missed that bottom one. Sorry. Um, so I feel like the base is a little more... Um, it's got this like a slight woodiness to it. And it's not very musky. I feel like the vanilla is the kind of main powerhouse to this fragrance. If I were to describe this fragrance based on two notes, it's mango and vanilla. It's very kind of, it's very easy to wear. Um, when I saw the notes for this, I was thinking it might be semi-similar to uh, Nicki Minaj's Majesty Exotic. But it's different enough that it, they don't, like, you can't really super compare them. Only way you could compare them is by that mango note. I feel like this is this kind of, like, carefree summer... Like, this could almost be Summer Princess. I feel like that would be, like, the perfect way for this one to be. Um, because it's just, I mean, it's a very light, airy, fruity scent. Um, it's an eau de toilette, so it only lasts about, on me, it lasts about six hours. But that's rare for an eau de toilette. I would say about four to six is what you're going to get out of this. Um, it comes in a 50 milliliter and a 30 milliliter. The 50 milliliter is currently... 50 and 30 milliliters are both currently available at um, Ulta here in the United States as well as 
I believe it's going to be launching here in the UK, or not here in the UK, in the UK relatively soon. Not 100% positive on that one though, but I will say that out of all the princesses that I have smelled, this is probably my favorite so far. I do really, really like this fragrance, I just wish it was a little more prominent on some of the other notes and just kind of made it a more powerhouse than it is. I also wish that the packaging was a little bit different and wasn't called Hippie Princess. I feel like this could be Summer Princess and then we could keep this bottle and whatnot and call it Summer Princess. But I feel like Hippie Princess should have been like hearts and peace signs and rainbows and then like patchouli and something else in there. So there you guys go. That is my review of Vera Wing's Hippie Princess. As always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Um, follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.